Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make rose whipped body butter. This is so lovely for skin. It's really easy to whip up. And what's awesome about it is it's perfect for gifts. And you know what? Sometimes regular lotion just kind of doesn't cut it. This is a little heavier than regular lotion, so it's great for elbows and feet and really anywhere you have dry skin. Whipped body butters are a combination of hard and soft oils. In today's project, we're gonna be using avocado butter, which is extra emollient for skin, as well as cocoa butter. Now these cocoa butter pastilles are deodorized, meaning when you smell them, they don't smell like chocolate, like regular cocoa butter. This allows the wonderful fragrance we're using, which is pink petals from Brambleberry, to really shine. Now, if you have just plain cocoa butter at home, you're welcome to use it. Just know that you might smell that kind of nutty, warm, chocolatey smell over your fragrance. And keeping with our theme, of course, we're gonna be using rose extract in here. Brambleberry's rose extract is in fractionated coconut oil. So that means it has extra skin loving properties in it. Rose extract supposedly helps with inflammation and helping to soothe irritated skin. In this recipe, I love it though, because it adds a little bit of softness and a little, it helps with spreadability. First things first, we wanna get these cocoa butter pastilles melting. So I'm gonna put all of this rose extract in there and then I'm going to melt that in 30 second bursts in the microwave. We don't want it to get too hot, so that's why 30 second bursts. Now that this is fully melted, I'm just going to put my fragrance into the, this liquid and I'm gonna use 0.3 ounces because we want this to smell good, but we don't want it to be a perfume, right? We don't want it to be overpowering. So for this whole batch, it's just 0.3 ounces and we always do weight when we do fragrances. There we go. I'm gonna set this to the side and then I'm going to break up this big chunk of avocado butter before I put in my liquid. That will really help eliminate splashes. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just break it up and then I'm gonna start whipping just a little bit. And now that we're whipped a little bit, I'm gonna start adding my cocoa butter and rose extract fragrance mixture slowly. I don't want to have too much liquid in there or else it really will go all over. So I'm just gonna do about one quarter of this mixture and then slowly turn the blender on. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing as I am mixing in is that this is actually kind of melting my butter, like my hot cocoa pastilles are melting my butter because I didn't really let this cool down quite enough. Now it's not that big of a deal. This will harden as it cools, but I'm probably gonna have to keep whipping a little longer. So for you at home, if you wanna skip the waiting while you're whipping step, there's a really great temperature to use and that's about 100 degrees for your cocoa butter extract fragrance oil mixture. And I'm a little bit hotter than that. So this is a really smooth, gorgeous, creamy texture. It's definitely kind of not as light and fluffy and airy because I didn't wait long enough for my cocoa butter to cool down. That said, I'm gonna add my color. I'm gonna add a little bit of arrowroot in there because the arrowroot's going to help absorb any oiliness you feel when you put that butter on the skin. So I'll do that right now, mix those in, and then take stock of where I'm at and see if I wanna keep whipping so it gets even more air in there. This is my arrowroot powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a full ounce in here and I'm just gonna plop it in, but then I'm gonna spatula it in. And the reason that I am gonna use a spatula to fold it in instead of using my mini mixer here is just because I don't want a full poof of the arrowroot powder coming out. I will end up using the mini mixer to mix it in. The arrowroot does clump until you whip it though. So don't stress if you're folding this in and you're like, oh, no, 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 I just made clumps. It goes away the second you turn on that hand mixer. Now I'm just gonna whip that arrowroot in, make sure it's fully mixed in. The air 
Ferro Root really did help improve my texture. That fluffiness is kind of sticking around. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna add a little bit of mica, which is a skin safe colorant to this. And don't forget, it's just a little bit because you can't take it out once you put it in and we're not looking to dye people's skin. So I'm just gonna use right about a 1 4th teaspoon, which is a very little bit of this powerful colorant. So this is an eighth teaspoon. So I'm just gonna do times two, which gets me to a fourth and mm, that's so pretty. I am just going to kind of use my hand mixer just to kind of mix in by hand first. Again, it's a powder, so we don't want that to go all over. And now I'm gonna turn on my mixer and get that perfect pink. <laughs> I want to make sure all of my colors mixed in evenly so I'm just going to get a clean spatula just give this a quick scrape because I don't really want to end up at the bottom and end up with white streaks in my pink body butter so just a quick scrape see I see some white streaks from the bottom so I'm glad I went that extra mile and just did that it's not that big of a deal it's just an aesthetic thing but I do want this to look even in color so I've looked at this and I've kind of compared it to what my texture should be and I've decided it actually does need to be a little cooler. I'm just gonna pop this in the freezer, I don't know, 15 minutes, get it a little cooler before bottling. It's not bad if I put this in right now, it's just a little more dense than I want it to be. It's not as fluffy. And one of the things about whipped butter that makes it so magnificent on skin is it's fluffy. So it absorbs in and spreads nicely. This has been in the freezer for just about 10 minutes and I want you to see it's just a lot more solid which means it's gonna hold air a lot better, which will give us that lighter, more mousse-like consistency. Okay. Here we go. All right, and now it's time to spatula it into jars, or I mean, you could spoon it into jars, and I just grabbed a bunch of different jars, so it's kind of whatever you want to use. And then, once you have done that, it's time to close it up, label it, and you can give it away or use it right away. So I'm gonna use a smaller spoon for this because the spatula is just a little large. You could also use a frosting bag. That's a nice way to get a cleaner look and also do a little bit kind of more production style. When you get these filled, you want to tap, 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 just to make sure that there's enough space to close it, but also that there's no extra air that's sitting there. So you have your jars full to the brim. So once these are fully done, just go ahead and store them in a cool, dry place, and they're ready to use or give away right away. And I personally cannot wait to give these to my friends. My girlfriends are going to love this product. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up below and make sure you subscribe to our channel so every single time we come out with a brand new video, you'll be notified. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy soaping.